Definitely uh, because John is mass communication. No, I have to make sure. Uh, uh, I mean, if you have a third grade education through a PhD, you're supposed to bring it, make sure that everyone understands it. Yeah. Yeah. There's, there's no way that ever happens. What's going to happen if I do that? Uh, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for coming to the City Council meeting. I'd like to call it to order at 630 on August 28, 2024. Uh, we, as you can see, we've been decimated by illnesses, so uh, we don't have a quorum tonight. Do we? Oh, we do. Okay, so okay, so we're well on. Is anybody on the line thing there? Okay, I can't change it. Yeah, yeah, we don't have anything in the projector. Okay, so um, uh, Director Weiskin, uh, could you do the roll call, please? Ellis? Here. Deacon? Here. Kelly? Here. Morrison, Virginia, here. Fredo, here. 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 Four. Here. Taylor, four. Here. Thank you. Hodgkins here too. We got you, Debbie. Thank you. Okay. Uh, if you'd like, we could stand for the pledge of allegiance. I am the 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 Second, I request you know, and uh, I would like to remove all items from the agenda except for the consent agenda, the public works report regarding the Army and Police Department firearms training facilities, the second public comment period, 
and as a special agenda item from the Homeless Response Committee, recommending the removal of the city's RFP application submitted to the Grace Harbor County for the acquisition of property for the purpose of constructing a homeless village. Jane, is there about any discussion? Yes. Go for it. Okay, the HRC, the Homeless Response Committee met on August 20th and we discussed the city's role in building a village. And we unanimously decided that it was no longer the city's role to provide on shelter location, since having shelter beds was no longer a requirement to enforce public camping laws. It also appears that enforcement is working. The Homeless Response Committee believes that the community resource groups are best suited for building a village or homeless facility with coordinating services. The city also doesn't receive any funding for homelessness, and the funding for homelessness goes to Grace Harbor County, which would RFC, the RFC be the money that we are giving back, though we're not asking for then the nonprofits can ask for that um, because they receive funding. The responsibility of solving homelessness should go to the lead agencies receiving the funding. So. Is there any more discussion? Uh, Mr. Mayor, so we're not going to have the first public hearing for removal of Florida? No, that's for the next one. Any other public or any other comment? That, is it possible to keep the public hearing on for the rezone? For, for what's going on? The rezone is not needed. I think we can. It's have. just for the ordinance. Pardon me? It's just for the ordinance. I don't think that would take us very long. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not taking for the zoning. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm fine. Yes. It's fine. Thank you. So we'll that to the amended Thank agenda. You. I'll agree with that. I'll agree with that. I'll agree with that. I think we have one. Oh, one, one, one. one. Oh, no. We did. Thank you. Okay, we got it. I move that we have approved tonight's consent agenda. Second. Is there any discussion on that? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Bring us to the reason I first. So anyone that just came in, the first public hearing tonight on the removal of fluoride has been postponed to the next meeting. It'll be September 11th. So now it's for a public hearing for the rezone consideration. I move that we open the public hearing. Okay. Any discussion on that? Sure. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? It passes. So we're going to that. It's open to the public hearing. It's open to the public And the reason for the prison. So we will open the board of comments. That is limited to three minutes. It has to be only regarding the public. Yeah. And then the reason. This is specifically for the reason on some parcels over by the call and for multi family housing, right? Right. And I think it will have a general public comment period at the end of that. Meaning. Seeing that is. I have some. Oh, okay. Anastasia, is that on? Oh, it's not ready. Hey, sir. Anastasia, Osorio, Realty One Group, All Stars. The rezoning is absolutely necessary. I saw the article in which people were opposed to it. We are in desperate need of brand new housing units. Housing is a necessity. We need some beautiful buildings so students have housing when they decide they want to come to Grace Harbor Community College. 
it would be a huge uplift for this community. So I hope everybody agrees with me, but I know not everybody will. Thank you. Thank you. Any other comments? No. I will we close the public hearing. Yeah. I'm Paul Baber. So, yeah, I lost. Sorry. I didn't know that. So, from Public Works recommending the City Council award the Aberdeen Police Department firearms training facility site preparation contract to the lowest responsive and responsible bidder. I move that the acceptance report. Second. Is there any discussion? No, Okay, no comment. All in favor? And then so this, uh, to amend the, the official zoning map. Yeah, yes. Yeah. There's a second reading of Bill 2405, an ordinance amending the official zoning map to the city of Aberdeen. I move we uh, accept this ordinance. During the discussion on that. Yes, as the uh, lady from the audience uh, just mentioned, the city is in desperate need of some housing. Um, and this will bring in 30, as I understand it, the proposal is to be able to bring in 36 additional housing units, multi family housing over by the college. I know there are some citizens who live in the area that are opposed to this. They see the loss of. Uh, some wild area that currently is there. However, it's not a public property. It's not a public park. It is privately owned property, and uh, the developers want to put it to its best use economically and develop it. And I think we should support that. Is there any any more comment? All in favor? Aye. Aye. I Thank you. Um, Mr. Mayor, yeah. Border, can we just go back um, to the council members that are voting online and have them clarify what they were voting? It's just delayed. It's a delay. The okay. sound is delayed. Uh, yes. Yeah, but I want to make sure that for the record that it's clear that what their intent was. Since it was delayed. Can we just ask if any of them said no to anything? Voted no to anything? Hodgkin did not say no. I've been a yes on everything. If if I say no, I'll 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 do a clear no. That's for sure. Yes. Thank I you. Vote. Oh, Scott, uh, Council Member Prado. Oh, okay. And so Council Person. Right. Yes, right. Yes, it's good. Okay. <laughs> Let's go. Believe that brings us to the special agenda item that we added. Mm -hmm. I've received a recommendation from the Homeless Response Committee to remove the city's RFP application for funding from Grace Harbor County toward the acquisition of, of a property. For the purpose of constructing a homeless village, I move that we adopt this report. Second. Moved and second. Is there any discussion? Any online discussion? No? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed? So we'll so we, yeah, we've gone through everything that we want to tonight and move we adjourn. No. No, 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 Hello, this is a short person again. Um, I just have um, a question. Um, you know, the park that I live in, Boulevard Mobile Home Park. Yes. And, huh? Yes, for the record. 
What do you say your name? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I've been up here so many times. You should know who I am. Oh, we do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, for the people online, my name is Lynette Taylor. I live at Boulevard Mobile Home Park, um, the city, the next city dump. Um, it's gotten really, really bad. Um, I don't know if the council members have gone there recently, but it's gotten even worse back there. I mean, um, fortunately, on one side, they have the blocks, um, which stop the people. But on the other side, there are no blocks, and the people are dumping from the park, are going up there and dumping stuff on that little access road. And uh, when you look behind it, from number 29 to 38, it's disgusting. Um, it's uh, one person owns a pig that is running around um, the park. But um, one of the reasons I'm here is because um, the um, quasi manager, Justin, has been told numerous times not to put things um, for the park um, rules, eviction notices in the mailbox, and then being charged $450 because he says he's delivered it. Well, putting it in the mailbox is not delivering it. And I was told, and he was told by the post master general that he couldn't do that, and a police officer. And yesterday, for that be? And she got an eviction notice in her mailbox. So I've gone down to the, the post office. Um, he wasn't there. I talked to a supervisor. But is there any other thing or person that I could go to so that this stops? Because he's putting things in the mail, and then they're charging us and telling us we owe all this money for something that is illegal. I, I I would like to know if you know someone can look into it or whatever and let me know because it's it is unfair and a lot of the people are Hispanic and it's all in English. Okay. Also, I wanted you to know that in 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 removing of all the homeless people, there was one little casualty, and that was the casualty was a tiny little kitten, unfortunately, and it had its knee broke. And a homeless person brought it to my house, and it's doing good. <laughs> that was the only problem. Thank you. Anybody else uh, have a comment? One more. Here. Hello, everyone. I am Janice Robbie. I'm one of the librarians at the Aberdeen Timberland Library. I uh, just wanted to let everyone know about two new programs that I'm starting for adults in September. On Mondays, I will have a Lego club only for adults. We always do clubs for kids that are Legos, but it's for the rest of us. So it's Mondays from 3 to 4 p.m. So if you are tired at your job and you need to come put bricks together mindlessly, come on down to the Aberdeen Timberland Library. Um, and then I'll have like those fancy Lego sets that are really expensive along with just mixed bricks. And then the second one I'm starting is on Tuesdays from 10 a.m. until 11.30 p.m. It's called Cards, Coffee, and Conversations because I love alliteration. Um, and that is for seniors in our community or just adults to come and play bridge. I have euchre, pinochle, and we're going to have snacks, tea, and coffee. That's all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey. You've been up once already. Yeah, this is my separate. <laughs> Separate time. Okay, I'm just gonna. I don't like leaving things unfinished. So number six, he initiated the long overdue trade war with China to level the lopsided trade deficit. Number seven, he flat stopped the interest fentanyl trafficking from China into the U.S. that is killing our youth. Eight, he facilitated stock market and domestic GDP to the highest level in 50 years, as well as jobs and manufacturing being brought back to the U.S. Number nine, he orchestrated the greatest number of minorities off welfare and the lowest minority unemployment in 50 years. So, um, number 10. I don't think this sounds like a political speech, 
Number 10, he advocated and produced the greatest number of women back in the workforce. Number 11, he again strengthened the profit debt ratio of the U.S. dollar store. Is this is this a statement in, on behalf of some particular political? This was uh, an email to our mayor. For? For um, what was the topic of discussion several weeks before all the drama. But are you are you supposed to be making allowing me my public comment time? You're not supposed to convert. Not if it's political. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Anybody else? Okay. So we'll call your mayor. Yep. And we'll wait your Thank you. Okay. Move in second. Is there any discussion? No discussion. All in favor? Aye. Opposed. Right, we're adjourned. Okay. Was that a nice afternoon? 46 minutes. Oh, 48 minutes. Hey, hey, Stan. Uh, Thank you. Oh,